Hey guys, Natasha or Ethel Jo here. So Book in Maine is this new platform for authors and readers and bloggers and just anybody can go in and look and find some new books. They can be old, they can be new. And that's what I really like about this. It's like little bites or morsels from these amazing authors to kind of get us drawn back into something that they're writing and something they've written a while ago. Well, when it first came out, I kind of stumbled across two authors that I already love and enjoy their reading, two books. The first one is Dare Me by Rebecca Shea. And I was so excited that it was on KU, Unlim Kindle Unlimited, that I ended up getting the audio too, because I've been traveling and I'm like, you know, I'm going to listen to this while I'm traveling and then read it when I get home. I devoured this book in about a day and a half because it just... It captivated me, it grabbed my attention, and I just needed to know what happens. It's a, such a wonderful, it's like a beautiful suspense romance. In the beginning, like the like the the first chapter, like the whole, like it just captures you because it kind of talks about Sage's past. And Sage is this beautiful woman that something tragic happened to her, and then it bounces years later to what how she kind of overcame but she doesn't really overcome it because she's still grief stricken of what happened to her 10 years ago with her father. And it's just, it's kind of beautiful how we watch her struggle with this um, depression and this, um, this horrific thing and how she overcomes it over time. But it's the people that are in her life that kind of mold her into who she is. And I think that's why I liked it because Sage goes and works as an interior designer for this airline company and she has a great knack for it and she's very talented but the owner Holt kind of just he has something about him that's mysterious and dark that makes him like very like exotic like you just want like a little bit more of Holt a little bit more of Holt because just the way he's written he's very dark and mysterious but he's just he's sexy and you know and that's why I kind of like I enjoyed about it because when he and it when he was in the book you just felt like he had so much he wanted to give to Sage but he's holding back because he was so worried what was going to happen and then when everything comes out it's how these two kind of you know go through it to get to back to where they need to be but how these two even got together is all because of a dare her friends at work decided to dare her to go ask him out. So throughout the book, there is I dare you, dare me type of interwoven in the story. And it was really kind of awesome to read because how many of us played, you know, I dare you to go do this. Um, you know, truth, dare game is like an old game. And it was kind of cool how this book was written because it's about the game that I know I've played. I've heard my little girls play it. So it's kind of fun, but I just, the suspense about this story is what really kind of got me and I kept thinking as I listened to it and as I read it that there's just so much more he Sage has something and Holt has something like they're holding back and then when it's all out and the, the explosiveness and then the love and the chemistry is it's just it's awestruck I'm completely in awe of how Rebecca Shea writes these beautiful suspense suspenseful romance because she really does know how to capture the reader's attention and every page was just amazing but the audio was even better because the people that read it wow they really knew how to understand the passion the the severity of every issue that was going on it just it was it was breathtaking in my opinion so guys it's in the links go find book in Maine too and then go get Kendall Unlimited and get the audio this is Dare Me by Rebecca Shea and it is amazing talk to you guys later bye